Hello, today I'm going to show you how to import ENC data in RGIS for use as background information, for visualization, or even for analysis. So what we're looking at is a data set from marinecadaster.gov that I found on RGIS online. It's a set of layers associated with ocean energy. As you can see, I don't have a lot of context to know where the data is located. So I could bring a base map as a background, but it would be even nicer to see my data set on top of uh, official electronic nautical charts or ENCs. NOAA in the US publishes ENCs on their website and I downloaded one, of, uh, one for this area. Now let's see how to import and visualize it to give some context to my ocean energy layers. So using the tools in RGIS for maritime charting solution, I can easily import the ENC into my GIS environment. All I have to do is to point the tool to the folder where my ENC file is and run the tool. And here I'm only importing one ENC file, but the tool can also import multiple files uh, at a time automatically. Okay, now my ENC data is imported and ready to be added to the map. And now I can see that uh, we are looking at the east coast of the US near Chesapeake Bay. And it looks a little bit busy, so why don't I turn off a couple of layers? Okay, it looks, it looks good. So uh, the nice thing here is uh, that the data is symbolized uh, according to the S52 standard, but I could also choose another symbology such as a paper chart. So now I can see my ocean energy data with more spatial context. And because the ENC data is now in RGIS, it's also available for, to use for further analysis if I need it. If you're interested in learning more about this tool or about the other functionalities of RGS for maritime charting, please contact maritime at esri.com.